Dengue is a disease that is endemic to the Maldives. It is transmitted by Aedes mosquito. The occurrence of dengue is cyclical and as such every year there are reports of outbreaks in the country. These outbreaks usually coincide with the rainy season which provides ideal breeding grounds for the Aedes mosquito which prefers to breed in clean, stagnant water. Poor waste disposal practices and general household practices lead to the creation of an abundance of breeding sites and as a result mosquitoes flourish. There is little practice of preventive actions such as breeding site eradication and proper disposal of waste materials that could collect water. In addition, traditional mechanisms used by communities to prevent mosquito breeding such as use of mosquito nets and placing fish in wells has diminished noticeably. Though communities are aware of the causes for mosquito-borne diseases such as dengue and chikungunya, little priority is given to prepare for and prevent mosquito breeding. In late June 2012, MRC noticed an increasing number of media reports about frequency of dengue cases being reported. This includes several deaths that had happened in June. MRC offered the Center for Community Health and Disease Control, CCHDC, assistance to combat dengue outbreak as part of its auxiliary role to the government. The tipping point came when two deaths were reported in the span of 48 hours. MRC held an emergency meeting and decided to conduct a special program to combat dengue outbreak. MRC sought the assistance of International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, IFRC, and secured funding from IFRC's Disaster Response Emergency Fund, DREF. This funding was to be used for the sole purpose of conducting dengue control operations in the Maldives. On 30th June, the Government of Maldives announced the establishment of a special dengue control program task force in Mali to coordinate a nationwide response to the dengue situation. The task force will also coordinate efforts of all stakeholders. MRC was identified as a key stakeholder in the public arena. MRC maintained a presence at the Task Force Operations Center throughout the duration of operation. With the task force, MRC was charged with spreading the advocacy and awareness components of the control efforts. MRC's activities were conducted independently focusing on providing services to the most vulnerable communities with severe outbreak of dengue. Its response plan was divided into six core target areas which were 1. Creating awareness among children who are most vulnerable to this disease and through them indirectly reaching households and adults. 2. Special attention was given to posting public messages in and around capital Male where approximately 30% of the country's population lives. 3. Distribution of posters, leaflets and other information, education and communication materials on dengue prevention and mitigation to all inhabited islands of the Maldives. 4. Creating awareness and outreach to the large expatriate migrant worker population in the country. 5. Providing financial resources to the worst affected communities to conduct island cleaning and breeding site eradication activities. 6. Creating awareness through different mass media such as TV, online and public gatherings. A school-based dengue awareness program for Mali schools were held from 4th July 2010 to 13th July 2010. Dengue awareness messages include information on symptoms, cure and promoting good behavior to prevent spreading of the disease. Volunteers and staff facilitated presentation followed by a Q&A session on dengue symptoms, prevention and mitigation for the students. 14,987 students in 20 schools were given the above-mentioned message during 46 sessions with the support of 6 volunteers and 3 staff facilitators. This amounts to 95% of total school population in Mali. As a result of these school sessions, it was expected that school students would take proactive prevention actions at home and school environment to protect themselves from dengue. Special attention was given to posting public messages in and around capital Mali, where approximately 30% of the country's population lives. 
MRC volunteers put up dengue awareness posters in restaurants, schools, ferries, taxis, ferry terminals and other public places where people gather. Volunteers in Male work tirelessly to sort, pack and dispatch large number of posters, leaflets and other information, education and communication materials to island communities. The operations based at the MRC headquarters were supported by partners who helped with the shipping of materials to remote island communities. In all, materials were dispatched to all 190 inhabited islands in the Maldives. MRC's efforts were very well received by all the newly elected island councils and they worked very closely with the MRC teams. Public health emergencies are the reality in today and especially in the area of disaster management in Maldives it's very relevant to us in this country because we may not have other kind of major disasters but public health emergencies are what we have to deal more frequently. Uh, during this last operation that we have conducted in relation to the dengue outbreak in Maldives, uh, we realized the capacity that is required and what we can do to make our communities more resilient and more prepared. It also gave us an opportunity to work with the local communities, the local councils and the government and to fulfill our auxiliary role. And we are very happy that we have managed to conduct this operation in a very uh, short period, in a very successful manner. As there is a large migrant worker population in the country consisting mostly of Bangladeshi, Indian, Nepali and Sri Lankan citizens, of which the majority works in Mali. In many such cases, there is little outreach to this population who are vulnerable to diseases such as dengue due to factors such as low education and awareness, poor living conditions and economic disadvantage. Working with the High Commissions of Bangladesh, India and Sri Lanka, MRC translated its existing leaflets into five languages for distribution. Assistance was also received from the sister national societies of these countries, namely Bangladesh Red Crescent Society, Indian Red Cross Society, Sri Lankan Red Cross Society and Nepal Red Cross Society, along with further assistance from IFRC South Asian Regional Delegation in New Delhi. On the afternoon of Friday, 8 July, MRC teams set out to the locations where these expatriates gather on their day of work. MRC also enlisted volunteers from each of these nationalities who, armed with the leaflets and megaphones, gave out dengue awareness messages in their own languages. Over 1,500 leaflets were distributed and messages were given out to approximately 3,000 more individuals. Breeding site eradication is considered as a more sustainable mosquito control alternative to fogging as it eliminates the next generation before they mature. MRC also set up and communicated to the 33 worst affected communities a mechanism by which they could apply for a grant assistance to conduct island-wide cleaning and mosquito breeding site eradication activities. With the assistance, communities mobilized cleaning equipment such as gloves, sacks and spades used by local volunteers who undertook the cleaning. In addition to direct communication, MRC issued regular updates to the media about its activities and progress. Staff made appearances on the local TV channels to inform general public about the efforts being undertaken and to garner support from island communities for the activities to be conducted. MRC also utilized mass media to create awareness. Working with the most popular local newspaper, Haviru, MRC posted its web banners and leaflets on the special web page they dedicated to the coverage of this outbreak. In addition, banners were also displayed on the leading online food order website, Badiga.com. Both these websites have heavy traffic on a daily basis. 
Dengue awareness artwork was displayed on electronic program guide of the local digital TV cable service provider Medianet on restaurant-based advertisement screens by Schwack Company and at the public screen set up for the annual night market in Male. In the end, MRC was able to accomplish a lot. It was able to 1. Deliver dengue awareness information sessions directly to over 16,000 school students from over 80 schools in the Maldives. 2. Support 33 of the worst affected communities to conduct island cleanup activities and eradicate mosquito breeding sites. 3. Posters and leaflets were distributed to all 194 inhabited islands in the country. 4. MRC headquarter teams undertook monitoring visits to seven severely affected communities. 5. Dengue awareness public messages were broadcast to the general public. 6. Reached an expatriate population of 1,000 individuals directly and approximately 2,000 more indirectly. 7. Increase interest in volunteerism. This was demonstrated by the number of volunteers who signed up to assist MRC headquarters and branches. So through this exercise we hope that we have managed to introduce some resilience uh, into our local communities and also to give assurance to our communities that Maldivian Red Crescent is ready for these kind of emergencies. Further, as secondary achievements, many communities and organizations demonstrated willingness to work with MRC and this is a very good indicator of the recognition of MRC as an organization of the humanitarian mission that it is set out to achieve in the country. Dengue being endemic to the Maldives, it is inevitable that it will remain a threat until it can be completely eradicated. With the dengue awareness activities carried out in 2011 by MRC, MRC hopes that awareness has been created to a level that will enable and empower communities to be better prepared to respond to such issues in the future.